I'm just going to go and point it at some media. <laughs> oh, microphone. straight away it's been brilliant and I should be retiring from all cricket but I could never do that so never never leave the brook behind so thank you you've all influenced me in in one way or another mum and dad obviously with all your lifts to absolutely everything and I know you've enjoyed the travel but um thank you everyone and um enjoy your lunch today and thank you very much for these lunch Recorded. How much of that is usable, I do not know. And do I just press power off? Well, good afternoon. It's Saturday afternoon. We're at Sydney Parade. This is Prendergast, fourth over. How much longer will she be kept on? Hasn't got the breakthrough as yet. This one's in the air, though. Yeah, there's oh, the breakthrough. There it is. <laughs> oh. The reverse commentator's curse. Change of bowling now at the St John's end. The grand lady of Pembroke cricket now. Thank you, Betty. Oh, oh, that's going to be a shout. That's going to be worth a shout, is it? Yes. And it's out. Yes. And Zoe Bell picks up a wicket. Beautifully oh, flighted. They don't want to lose any more wickets before drinks. But she doesn't seem to be taking too much risk. Oh, there's a ball that's lobbed up. Is it going to be caught? Yes. Kim Lee catches it. Great breakthrough. And um, sorry about the commentator's curse, Malahide, but there you go. <laughs> Mary Six <Sixth> Daddy. <laughs> Did you make it back in time for this, James? No. Oh, there's a lovely ball. Well. No, nope. I would give that out. Yep. Each time you play a shot and play it away and it just doesn't get past a fielder and you think, oh, I should have got one there. Now I'm going to need to get two off the next one or... Yeah, this is where Condren just needs to not panic. That's good running, good calling from a partner. But given out, oh, that's not what Malahide want. But you can see how quickly Kavanagh is up onto that. And Waldron, well, she positioned herself right oh. in the right place. Wicketkeeper to wicketkeeper. 
And I must mention that about Mary. Yeah, she just got herself in the exact right spot, was able to take that cleanly and get it onto the stumps. You know, that's just... It never runs the full distance. Kamina just off the side of your screen, but look at that throw. One yep. bounce, plenty of time. The bat not even put down, let alone run in. Will that be enough out there in the lawn? Nice shot. Good shot, but Zoe Bell Running Bell on the shot. Oh, oh he's, she's out. Oh, what a piece of work there by Zoe Bell. I said it at the time, she ran on the shot. This is lifted out in the offside. Zoe Bell takes the catch, and what a marvellous pair of hands she has. We can show it to you on replay if you missed it. Wow, that makes, a, that makes a different... Leaves the happy family with their congratulations. We'll turn Dougal down for oh, a minute. Oh, yes, the corner. yes. A super catch. What a catch. Zoe picks up another wicket there. Van Schieke. Yeah, I think this is the right move to keep Zoe on. She's been very effective. And this is her last oh, over. And she takes the wicket. <laughs> there you go. That's her third. She's been incredibly um, frugal with her runs. Runs conceded. And she takes the wicket. The fourth one for Zoe Bell. The <laughs> tenth one for Pembroke. Malahide all out in the four, 36 over for 172. And now for the second innings, it will be Mary Waldron and Van Schieke Schukla opening the batting for Pembroke. And the other thing is, if it doesn't like you say, Craig, Oh, that's, a, lovely oh, shot. that's a great shot. Just played out to the covers. Well, she could be chasing that one for another 10 minutes and not catch it up. It flowed away beautifully from the bat. It crossed the boundary. And we're seeing the first over of Mitchell. And that one was a bit short and pumped away for four. And a super shot as well. Oh, too short and played away. Splits the field and straight to the boundary. In the air, yep. and there it taken. Is. Yep, well deserved. Good bit of bowling there by um, Kerrison. Oh, oh good ball. Delivery. Beats Laney completely. Clean bowled. You can see the rain on the screen now, if you look closely. It's lashing in, and you can see the uh, lens now getting quite wet. Crashed away through the offside. That's reached the boundary. Ooh, just got over Punched past. down the ground. Yeah. Lovely shot, just straight drive. And in fact, it's just got heavy. Look at that, it's just absolutely lashing down now. Seriously, go off and have an early drinks. And uh, who's going to get the covers on? Lots of people running in the background. I hope someone bought a towel. And, uh, well... That I'm very glad we put up the uh, walls. Oh, the my casino. goodness. Yeah. Anyone want to start building an arc? And it is just showers coming through, really. And now we've just caught one of these small showers coming in across us. Now, remember, you're live on air. Say it again. Oh, OK. Hi. So, so the umpires have called, they, well, a couple of minutes ago, they said we would be starting in four minutes. So as you can see, the batters are going out. So it'll be about two minutes to restart. We have not lost any overs at this stage. That's the news I was looking for. Thanks very much, Graham. You only hit that fielder once, hmm. and then you know oh, I'm not playing there again. Well, yep. this time, it's a full oh. toss. She's going to get out. And it's and caught round at square leg, and Prendergast departs for 16. And that's a body blow for Pembroke. Ooh. Another full toss. This one is put away properly along the ground, down to the scorers. Yeah, it's been a solid performance. Especially by Mary, just to keep in touch the whole game. Oh, that's a lovely stroke. I think this is going to make it to the boundary. Nothing says don't bowl there better than a shot like that. <laughs> yes. She's played those 10,000 balls or whatever it is and built those shots. Full toss. Yeah. Oh, she's smart there. Onto Kept it, it down. Kept it down. Onto it so quickly. Smacked it into the ground. It shoots away, bisecting the two fielders on that fence. They've now passed a half-century partnership, and now they're starting to open up. You see, you establish yourself, you get your innings going, 
And that means later on, well, when the sun shines, you and make hay. And that's a 50 up for Mary. We've got plenty of time. Oh, oh got up. what a ball. Deceived the batter there and um, bowled. <laughs> bowled Shauna. She got something on she's there. Got LBW. Oh, she's got an LBW. First ball. Oh, dear. Well, she takes that one on the full, smashes it through oh, the outside. That's yes. got to ride her way to the pavilion. There'll be no stopping that. That is four runs. She doesn't even take a step. Even with an injured leg, she's obviously taken a disliking to the scorers today. There's two balls I've seen fly down there now. Mm. Another one taken on the full, another one smashed back. Will the fielder get to it? No, she won't. Yeah. Or edging one through to the key. Yeah. Before you even turn your head, you know. Well, that's oh. a lovely shot from Waldron. She plays it round down towards the dressing room, down towards the... No one's stopping that one. Pavilion, ...and it runs away. What a super shot. This one hit straight back down the ground. That is a oh. class shot. Waldron knew it straight it's away. Funny because the fielder at mid-on, I don't think, has taken that towel out once. No. Oh, oh what, what a, a ball. Delivery. And suddenly this game is back in the balance. It's Waldron not over yet. Departs. She departs for 70, and Pembroke have done a good job to get to where they are. But I feel Malahide are very much in this game now. Mitchell well, here has just bowled a dream ball. That's just taken Mary Waldron. It's wicked. Malahide lost their last five wickets. Oh, she's just taken Hannah as well. She's on a hat trick. Well, you'd have to be the team that loses because you conceded 10 edges, you know. Oh, oh another wicket wow. picked up. O'Halloran picks up her third wicket. And Pembroke now, well, 10 more runs just seems like an awful lot. And there's just two wickets remaining. Pembroke's side, very calm on the sideline. Condren's bowled a very neat spell for a side. Just the one wicket so far. And now it's in the air and it passes the field up. They're going to run one. And they're going to come back for the other. They are. They negotiate that one, and they get back safely for two. And just four more required now after that shot. Well, that, that have everybody's hearts in their mouth on the sideline when she played it quite aerial, but it found the turf safely and ran away. They took two runs, and just four more required now. Yeah. It's in the air, and it's in the air high enough to get over the fielder in the ring, and it runs away. And there we go. They were wondering, they were watching the running for the second, I think, there. Yeah, I think Bowling so. quite well, Armstrong, considering that she probably didn't think that she'd need to be bowling. Not removing a jumper. This one outside. Oh, oh, there's all sorts happening here. And they get safely home oh. at one end and safely home at the other. And there's going to be an overthrow. They take a second. That oh, will my tie goodness. The scores. the scores are tied. They'll stop there. Oh, my goodness. What happened there? That was just... <laughs> oh, everything and anything. No, if you ever wanted your replay machine to work, now was the time. That was incredible. Scores are level. There it is. Hit out, fielded, thrown in, thrown down the other end, missed, missed by the backing up fielder, come through for another. There's people on their knees, people with their head in their hands. And people with arms folded. That just about sums up that delivery as far as Malahide were concerned. Yes. The scores are level. Niall, do you have anybody uh, in mind that could commentate for you? Seems that five of us are away in Adamstown playing cricket tomorrow. What time is me? Oh, yes. Tomorrow? Oh, nearly. Yes. And she's. They're going for the run. They've got it. And they've got it. They're there. They're home safely. And Pembroke have co victorious by two wickets. Well. Well, what a game that ended up being. Oh, my goodness. That was great awareness there by Kim Lee. She just called that through. As soon as the ball passed the keeper, she called the run, knowing she'd get there safely. It was a pretty, well, shame of a performance. Pembroke should have got there home easier than they did, but they won by two wickets. And they did so with 2.2 overs to go. And what I like about Malahide is that was a classic example of never give up until it's over. Here's the card for um, Malahide. Well, that was them setting that target of 172. But the pick of the bowlers today, Zoe Bell. She got uh, 41 runs taken from her eight overs. 
but most importantly, she took four wickets. Not only that, she took a fabulous catch and was also involved in a one stump direct hit run out. She did really well there. But I think we have to agree that the uh, player of the match is Mary Waldron with the half century, two wickets for 28 and a run out as well. And she got presented with a bunch of flowers before the game. Yeah, that's right. So I think she can go back and start necking that champagne she got as well. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> start, start with the champagne and then on to the tequila. Good bowlers, though. Condren, O'Halloran and Mitchell bowled very well. They only, only conceded 20 extras. And I tell you, they won't be 20 wides either. Anyway, uh, Kerrison bowled very well. But once those four were bowled out, it was left to Beth Deacon and Bella Armstrong. And you can see that, well, Beth Deacon, she was going at nearly eight and over. But if you're going to do a game, this is the game to do. Picked up and run around. <laughs> it's well, gold. Super stuff from Pembroke. They finally got home. And I think it's fitting. Well, how fitting it is that Mary Waldron should be presented with flowers before the game. She should take wickets in the first innings. She should be the biggest run scorer in the game. Take two wickets. And become player of the match in her own yes. match at her own ground between the only two clubs she played for. Bit of a fairy tale sort of story there. Well, mm. all we need now is a unicorn and a pink ribbon. <laughs> There's the run out. Yep. Oh, that's well timed. Yeah. <laughs> The crowd Big appreciates it. Yes, yeah. just they appreciated that wicket. Mm. Now, if you excuse me for a moment. Yes, we're going to just take care of business and um, thank you for watching. And please join Niall tomorrow for what will be a vital game. And please, and thank you very much, our viewers. And uh, sure. Good night. Come and see us soon. Like and subscribe this channel. Yes. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs>